What's going on guys, brothers are Bradley here. Today we're gonna to be talking about a pretty a pretty popular question in the community at the moment. And that question is, is Call of Duty dead? Now a lot of people have been wondering this just because we're around that Oh my god, they're all spawning there. We're around that time where basically, you know, the current Call of Duty gets a little bit stale, it gets a little bit repetitive, and we get a bunch of information about the next Call of Duty, and we're just like, yo, I really wanna get my hands on that next code. Oh my, yo, they just got annihilated, man. Jeez, hip fired with the M8. And you know, this cycle literally happens every single year, man. Like, it always happens within Call of Duty, within each Call of Duty. But, you know, we still haven't learned from it. We still always say, yo, this current Call of Duty is really bad just because we're a little bit bored of it. But regardless, within this video, guys, I'm going to be letting you know my my kind of opinion on whether Call of Duty is dead or not. Now, a huge argument that comes into play when people say Call of Duty is dead is the fact that, you know, Call of Duty do not listen to the people who actually play the game. You know, they don't listen you don't implement our ideas and all that different stuff but quick free piece to finish off now what a lot of people don't realize is that call of duty works on a three-year cycle so now if you think all the way back to like black ops 2 right when that game was released you guys may know that the trailer that they uploaded to totally reveal the game got a lot of hate man now just because that game was set a little bit into the future people decided to totally hate on it man people decided to dislike the game automatically and that turns out to be one of the best call of duties the most popular call of duties that has ever been made i don't know about you guys but that kind of reminds me of infinite warfare people absolutely despised the review trailer but you know we haven't played the game yet people already dislike the game but what if that the same thing happens man what if we actually do grow to like call of duty infinite warfare Oh my, yo, he's got a quad feed, man, with the gravity spikes. Now, I'm not saying Infinite Warfare is going to be good, but I'm just saying, you know, we can't really judge the game too early because we haven't seen too much of it. Okay, get destroyed. You know, anyway, as I was saying, Treyarch ended up releasing Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and with that happening, it ended up becoming one of the most popular Call of Duty's ever, and obviously Treyarch would have seen that this futuristic stuff is actually working out. It became one of the best cards. And they switched it up a little bit, making it go a little bit into the future. So obviously Treyarch were thinking, yo, this, this futuristic stuff is actually working, man. Let's make our next Call of Duty set into the future, even more into the future, in fact. And then that's what they ended up doing with Call of Duty Black Ops 3, you know, making it set even more into the future. So, you know, you can't really blame Treyarch for doing that because, you know, Black Ops 2 went really, really well. So they thought, oh, that is a new thing that we should do to make people enjoy Call of Duty even more. And, you know, that means you could switch up a little bit from the Call of Duties that are literally set in the current time. Oh my God, free piece again, man. And then that leads people to say, you know, people complained about this futuristic stuff quite recently. So why did Treyarch continue to make this Call of Duty if they knew people would dislike futuristic stuff? Get all of these, man. These all need to get out of this building. We need to get them out of here, man. It's so annoying, all of them sitting in here. <laughs> but what Treyarch didn't know is the fact that Advanced Warfare was going to be really totally changing people's opinion on the futuristic Call of Duty. Like, literally, as soon as Advanced Warfare came out, people despised this futuristic stuff and were like, yo, we need to go back to the past or like a present Call of Duty or boots on the ground. And that's probably where all this Call of Duty's dead, Call of Duty's dying stuff started, you know, within around probably like Ghost Advanced Warfare time because people wanted it back into the past just because, you know, Advanced Warfare, they changed it up completely, man. Like, the movement system was totally different and in the meantime, Time, Treyarch were already developing Black Ops 3 with this new movement system and it was kind of just unfortunate to be honest you know with Advanced Warfare getting a lot of hate they couldn't really at that particular time just completely trash Black Ops 3 scrap that and start making another Call of Duty which is boots on the ground so it wouldn't make sense we would only have a year to develop a new Call of Duty so you know Treyarch would kind of put in a little bit of a rough situation with Advanced Warfare coming out and getting so much hate and then people obviously go to Infinite Warfare which didn't really help too much let's be honest you know with people already hating on futuristic Call of Duties but this is one that kind of confused me a little bit man because i was like wait you know with them already getting enough hate for you know futuristic call of duties like why would they make another call of duty which is set even further into the future but then i thought about it man and i was like wait hold up there's a reason for this you know if you think back all the way to call of duty ghost that got a little bit of hate because it was just a little bit boring man it was set in present times i believe and it just got a little bit stale over time and obviously with call of duty ghost being the previous game made by infinity ward if you don't know infinite warfare is made by infinity ward they thought you know call of duty ghost did not get the reception we wanted we need to change it up make a futuristic call of duty or at least do something different which then didn't really go in their favor with support just because you know people then decided to hate futuristic cards so i mean what i'm really trying to say right here guys is that call of duty is definitely not dying or at least in my opinion it's definitely not dying i just feel like it's in kind of a rough position at the moment where with it being a three-year cycle it's kind of difficult to hear what the fans want within a specific next call of duty that they make so i think you know it's a little bit difficult for them at the moment but what i can say is first of all the fact that even though the next call of duty is set into the path and a lot of people are hating on it we're all still gonna buy that call of duty let's be real you know whether that's for the fact that we get call of duty 
absolutely full with it, or even just that we are genuine fans of the game and we're just going to buy it regardless, like I am, to be honest. And also, with all of these Call of Duty being set into the future and obviously getting quite a lot of hate when we see like the trailers and stuff, that does mean that soon we are going to see a Call of Duty that is set in the past, whether that's by Sledgehammer or whether that's by Treyarch with their next Call of Duty. I'm honestly not too sure. To be honest, with Sledgehammer's next Call of Duty, obviously after Infinite Warfare, I cannot see that being set in the past. You know, I feel that they're going to do like some XO movement, try and make it a little bit better with their next COD. But definitely Treyarch's next Call of Duty. They've got all the information they need, you know, from the views that they've got with Black Ops 3 and also see what happened with Advanced Warfare and people's opinions with Futuristic stuff. So to be honest, I don't think Call of Duty is dying. I just think we're in a little bit of a weird position right now. But trust me, Treyarch's next Call of Duty has got to be in the past, man. You know, you know, with the opinions that they've got from Black Ops 3 and also seeing, you know, how people kind of change with the Futuristic stuff with like Advanced Warfare and the new movement system within Black Ops 3 as well. I can see their next Call of Duty being set into the past, like 100%, man. If it's not, I have no idea what to do. But that's my opinion on the whole matter right here, guys. Definitely let me know in the comments down below whether you guys think Call of Duty is actually died. Again, the sales are still going to be crazy. You know, the next Call of Duty is going to sell really, really well, obviously, with Call of Duty 4 being included with it. And also, people compare it to Battlefield for some reason. I don't know why, but let's be real. You know, Call of Duty is always going to outsell Battlefield. That's just, that's just a fact with every single one that's been released. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I just have had so many people what I just said right there. But it's true though, you know, every single time a Call of Duty comes out, it always sells better than like every other game. But again, just to finish off this video, guys, I do not think Call of Duty is dying. I just think it's in a little bit of a weird position where they're just trying to change things up to make people like it a little bit more. But now they've got all this information from people who actually played the recent games that have been switched up, like Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3, they'll know with their next cards, they do not want futuristic stuff. So hopefully they do change that. But anyway, guys, that's the end of this video. Definitely smash the like button on this video if you did enjoy also subscribe if you are new let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about all of this man like a lot of people have been talking about it recently and since i'm a call of duty channel i felt you know i had to make a video giving you guys my opinion on whether call of duty is dying or not again man i could be totally wrong but that is literally just my opinion on the matter i'm pretty sure it does make sense to a lot of you guys as well but anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace no <laughs>